<clears throat> hey guys, I am back. I am, um, so I wanted to show more of like art and like the art that I do on my channel since it's gonna be, um, like, um, like all around, you know, so growth, like talking about like growth, hair, uh, art, anime, video games, like all of that good stuff. So I thought, you know what? I want my next video to be like, show more of like artsy side, art that I do. So anyways, um, I've seen a couple YouTubers do like sketchbook, um, like you kind of flip through like old sketchbooks. This one, I think it's number one. I'm actually not sure. As you can see, there's no cover on it, no binding. So, um, this tends to happen to like a lot of my sketchbooks. They just fall apart because, I don't know, I, I guess I put a lot of papers in there and so they just fall apart. But yeah, so we're just gonna get this one started. Um, so yeah, let's just hop right into it since we're around and my lighting sucks. This is what I have to deal with right now, so. But yeah, and I just write random things, but yeah, so this is just a random character. There's like no name, no story really. I was just, had an idea and just wanted to pop and just like draw it out. I didn't get much better with anatomy. <laughs> um, so I no longer draw like really long torsos. I noticed I used to do it. So this was like high school. Um, when I did this, high school, middle school, that's high school, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I usually date and sign my artwork, but I didn't do that one. This one, I'm not sure which sketchbook it came out of because it tore out, but this one I love. This is my one of my favorites. Um, so I like to draw like real, like I like to compile pictures, like I draw like a real person and then, um, I don't know if you can see it, but they have like, he has like, um, links. I think I referenced a lynx, the animal for ears. So he's like half human, half lynx kind of thing. Um, and then this was separate too. The collar was a separate image. So there was like, it was a person, the hair, and then I referenced the ears and I referenced this and I like to put them all together. So, um, so yeah, I like, I like this one. This was in 2012. February 2012. Yeah, this one's my favorite. So, don't take very good care of it though, apparently. <laughs> it's all tearing and stuff. I need to, like, store it somewhere. If you guys know, just let me know, like, how to, I don't know, like, laminate or something. I don't know. It's already torn, so. But this was a cute little puppet that I was doing. Um, it was like a bunch of them. I gotta make room here on my desk. But yeah, this is like, um, hold on, kind of, here we go. Okay, this, this is, um, I took abnormal psychology. So these are like school notes. I just have them in here because I store papers in my sketchbook. That's probably why they fall apart. Um, this is from the anime. Oops. Get my shadow in there. This is from the anime uh, Kate Kyo Hitman Reborn. And like, I was like so obsessed with the anime. Um, I actually am gonna rewatch it. So. Cause I heard they're doing some kind of something with it and I was like oh my god and it just brought back like all the memories so I'm gonna go back and rewatch that one and I just wrote out like all the characters um like quotes they would say and, like the mafia families um because it's like mafias but they have like power like supernatural powers and stuff it's really cool um this one I really like too This was just also random, like they're not like characters per se, like original characters. I mean, I guess they are, but I don't have names for them. 
just thought it was funny. Like I like when I was, I used to just have an idea and I would just draw it out, like no matter like if I could do it anatomically correct or not. Cause now I'm like, I just, now I just get into my head and I'm just like, it has to be correct and I don't draw. So I like when I just kind of didn't care and just drew, even if it was kind of crappy, you know? But it doesn't seem like too bad, but. <laughs> this was just random girl. I don't know if it's getting in. Can you see that one? Oh, okay, hold on. I didn't realize you couldn't see half the page. Okay, so maybe I should do like this or something. But yeah, this is just a random girl. There's really nothing with this one. This one was kind of cool. Um, I can't remember exactly what inspired it, um, but I just have an OC that's an angel. And um, sorry if my shadow's getting it. I'm just trying to make sure that this, like, you can see the pages. Like, it's actually getting in the shot. Okay. I think maybe. Here, let me just shift myself a little bit. Maybe what I could even do is like, so you can see both pages. This was like, like, um, I think I did date this. It's on the back. Yeah, so this was, wow, this was 09. So, wow, that was a while ago. That was 11 years ago. So I was, I was still in high school when I did this one. I was a junior. Yeah, I was a junior. Wow, that's really crazy. How much time flew by, but like I said, um, I'm so much better at anatomy now. You know what? I think I should like redraw some of my old stuff. I think that's what I should do. I don't even know if you can see this one. It's just, it's very light. <laughs> There's a light sketch of some like anime looking girl. So the angel picture that I just showed you guys, this was gonna like another part of it. Like it's another character from that same universe. Um, right, so. Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, this is Ezekiel. And I just named him like plain old Lucifer. <laughs> um, I didn't get very creative with the name, but. Yeah, so it was going to be the same thing, but obviously I didn't finish it because I think I was having issues with just, like, this is before, like, I would ever reference anything. Like, for whatever reason, I just, I thought, like, people just drew stuff, like, perfectly well from memory. And I just didn't feel, I was like, how do you like, oh, okay. <laughs> I found my other mechanical pencil. I was wondering where it was, and it was in the sketchbook the whole time. You probably see a lot of unfinished artwork because I'm one of those artists. I have unfinished work. It's like, I don't know. I think that's a challenge I'll do. Like if I'm drawing to make sure I finish, even if it's kind of crappy if it's looking like kind of bad like I don't want to finish it I think I need to challenge myself to just finish you know this was out of a magazine and then this was just like random little character like some of these are my OCs like this one was a character of mine oh, I wish I can find like the really old stuff from like Oh my god, this was my character. His name was Cinnamon, I think. Um, I don't know what the other ones are, they're just random, but it was some cute little different 
different style look I was going kind of you know dabble in just a bunch of writing for school kind of and then this one I thought this one was kind of nice too it's kind of playing with like perspective like action but it's not outlined so Oh, this is my favorite. This is just more random writing, but this one is my favorite. And these are like, um, obviously is a mashup between uh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts and my OCs. Um, oh, shoot. That was, I believe his name was Drake Lord. That's Daisuke Ukibaka. And then Yayoi Kisu? Right. And then these are these little characters here. And then this little bat figure right here is um these are my sister's OCs. <laughs> or like her little characters, because she kind of draws like little characters like these. Um so yeah, that was just a mashup. And then here is the empty like space, so, like the scroll. And I was gonna write um like Happy Halloween or something like that. And um like in Japanese on the side here. I might still finish this one out. I mean, obviously there's like anatomical issues. So, but I was really proud of this one I did it though. I was so happy. I'm trying to keep this like even, you know what I mean? Like, again, sorry about my shadow getting see the camera. Sure. Anyways. This was just, yeah, randomly did this one too. I was like, I want to do some dark, creepy looking one with some girl getting like pulled into the darkness. And like it's covering her mouth and all that stuff. kind of cool too this was like kind of like some you know skater dude kind of thing um i could definitely redo this one this one was kind of cool i did like the concept and it says like bonehead um here it's kind of hard to read it but it says instead it says spray it don't say it because <laughs> usually it's say it don't spray it but i thought spray it don't say it since it's like it was graffiti so no haha. -ha. And the pose, okay, like people question with the pose, but they're like, why is the spray can there? Like it was totally unintentional. Like I just I was just drawing, like, okay, like I the, it wasn't intentional, but whatever. This was me dabbling in paint when I had art class. And this is a character, an OC of mine. I don't remember. I don't remember his name, but um, I have another like smaller sketchbook here, and um, I believe this character is in this smaller sketchbook. Cause I don't, unfortunately, remember his name. So I have like so many OCs. I need to just write them all out, and this is just randomness. That was just a random character. This is this writing. It was like a character. Um, I was writing out for a character for a story, and this is just more in my aunt, my favorite anime. I can't remember what inspired this, but it's like some creature, as you can see. Like he has a long tongue. There's like a severed leg here. Um, that's supposed to be a like barbed wire. It's pretty rough concept. Um, I was actually almost kind of proud of like the, like the angle, like the squat, the angle here, like the up here is like horrible, <laughs> but I was kind of proud of down here kind of because 
I didn't draw like you kind of draw the rough sketch to get the layout of the po the pose. Like I kind of just would just draw it. Like so I was kind of proud of that, but oh, wow. So yeah, this page, as you can see, obviously like I was upset about something. Yeah, I don't know, I was upset about something and so I was writing like all this. This is confusion, heart, hurt on there. And then this, she's kind of, like she's from the same, I guess, universe or story as this character. Like they're the same creation. Like I think they were created or something. So these are just like supposed to really represent like tentacles kind of thing. But yeah. Thumbnails. Um, this is another OC of mine. That is very, um, this character is actually, I don't, I have forgot to bring the manga in, but, um, this character is, ins was inspired from a character from Zone Zero, or Zone Zero Zero, um, I'd have to show you it to, for you to get it. I could probably, like, find a picture and just, like, post a picture, like, right here or something like that, um, that the character is kind of inspired by. More blank spaces. Like, I could just go back and draw in the sketchbook. Once again, unfinished. Random character. This one was kind of cute. Oh my god, my pages are falling out. Okay. Yeah, so this one was kind of. Kind of good. This was like a, um, this is like, sorry, I'm sitting on a leather chair, so please don't think I'm like passing gas or something. <laughs> oh my god, it's so awkward. Um, this, I'm thinking I might like redo this one. This is supposed to be like one of those things where it's like, um, Kind of like a bunch of characters from different like backgrounds and like walks of life kind of just end up like traveling together and going on like fun adventures so i might continue that story and complete like that picture it's just a random floating head oh okay yeah <laughs> favorites right here um Still not perfect, but I was so proud of this um, moped. Like this, I definitely use a reference for for the moped. I was so happy about it, and then I just kind of like as I was drawing it, I did kind of map it them to be on the moped. That could use some work too, but. And then I did use a reference too for the, the shotgun. But yeah, let's see if I can like see the details on that. I was proud of that one. And then I have my, I guess, jungle girl or something. With her leopard. Cheetah. I think that's Cheetah. But yeah, that needs work too. That's these mirrors that need work, but I was still like happy with it when I did it. Which these were, I think I want to say I was in high school still. I didn't date it, so. Yes, more OCs. This was for art class. 2010 yeah so I was still in high school I was a junior I guess this was just my sketchbook like junior year some of it from like 
some stuff from 09. Just all my love, just like Kingdom Hearts at the time, video games, um, all that good stuff. These characters are kind of interesting. Um, it was just random. I did used to like to draw on pen too. It's kind of challenging to draw on pen because you can't erase it. So. They were just like, like odd, um, odd characters. They're not really OCs or anything. And then I had um, still, like still life, because <clears throat> we had to draw one picture a day for my art class to fill up, like kind of fill up the sketchbook, or just each day of class or each day of the semester. So this was a like pencil case thingy. Probably would have helped if I had did the whole like whatever. This one I was drawing a girl in my class. I think. Or I was drawing this from my head. Probably drawing it from my head because her head looks really high up. Because again I didn't do like you know, you would do like the outlines and the, like the skeleton. I didn't do that. <laughs> so things were just off. More characters. Story behind this, um, I don't know, just like a party. <laughs> Eyes are too far apart. Okay, here we did a, because my mom had an elephant statue, so I just decided to just draw it, which I was very proud of, actually. And this was when Dead Space 2 was coming out, and I'm a big, I'm a big Dead Space fan, so I thought I would just cut it out and like put it in, like from the magazine and put it into my sketchbook, which I really liked. It was a nice touch. Are just more sketches, like just getting my daily sketches in for class. I drew a sneaker, which I did like this one too. This was pretty good. That shadow though, it's not, it's not right. <laughs> just more sketches getting in there. Okay, and this is page, I guess this is page 19 because I wrote 19 down here, or is it, yeah, I wrote 19, so, um, I'm sure you guys recognize DC if you guys watch anime, well this is Domo right here, which I have a little Domo plushie, so I just looked at him to draw that, and then this was a plushie as well, that my sister has, um, I still remember this one, I was, um, my next, I was in, I think like a math class or something, and I had to go to art next, but I didn't draw anything for that day. And I was like, I can't go to class and not have a picture. Like I'll get in so much trouble. And so this guy had a, this fish on the back of his shirt and I was sitting behind him. And so I was just drawing this. And I said, you know what? This, this is gonna be what I'm gonna draw for my class. So, but I actually really liked it. It was nice drawing that fish. This just notes from art class, from a project. This I really like. This is from, I was using up leftover paint. Cause I had yellow paint, paint that was left over from like something I was doing in art class. And so at the end of class, I was just like, you know, I just did this. And so but I really like these two, it was really nice. And then I did her as well. I was surprised when I did the hair because just the way I had the brush, it was just, I could have easily messed up, but I didn't, at least I don't think I did. But yeah, and then the petals, I don't know if you can see that, these are pink, but it's, these were the same thing. It was just 
more saturated here and then I just used it here as it ran out. Just to, again, just to use it. I didn't want to waste paint, so. But yeah, my friend liked it. She like really liked it. I was like, okay. So maybe I could like do something more with these characters or something. I do like their profile, so for sure. This was a, um, <laughs> this was kind of supposed to be like, I don't think that he was a zombie, but he just, like, he could fall apart or something and still be alive. So this was supposed to be, um, like, they're putting up a banner for school and, like, the, the banner, like, it, I don't know, it, like, went up or something and, like, I guess his head was in the way so it, like, took his head off. So now he's chasing his head. So, yeah, just random stuff. <laughs> this, she's supposed to be like a doll or something. And it was gonna be like a bunch of other dolls. And I don't know what it was gonna spell out, but I think like kill or something, I don't know. But there's that, kind of playing around again with like pose, different poses. So here, Here you can see where I started to do, kind of started doing like the, you know, the skeleton, like the head, like the shoulders, like the lines, you know, this leg is too short, well the leg period are short, I'm not sure why they're so short, but yeah, so I kind of started doing that here and there, but you know, I was in that mindset in high school, like I didn't need to do that, like that's for amateur artists kind of thing, but why was I wrong? My art looked very amateur without doing that, so... This was... I was gonna have panels of, like, and then have all the characters, and maybe some, like, facing top down this way, and then, you know... This was just a random character. Her name is Malison. She's a witch. Um, that's about all I have for her. But I did like her character design. The dress could use work, like more detail, like, um, and then, yikes, her face looks scary. But, um, this was from a, this was from a, like, I think a Korean or like an Asian, um, clo online clothes store. And again, I was just looking for stuff to draw to fill my sketchbook because we were getting graded on it. So that's just what I did. I would just get on that site and then just find random pictures. Uh, what I did like, I'm surprised I actually chose this one because like all the detailing like in the dress, like I would have thought maybe I would have tried not, tried not to do it, but I guess I'm actually happy that I attempted it anyways, and it doesn't look that bad, so. This is kind of the same thing, or like from the same site, just a different model, different outfit. But again, you know, playing with, um, trying to balance this, <laughs> playing with you know, fabric and like different kinds of fabric and all that. So I'm proud of that one for this and also the hair too. Like the hair was definitely just everything. Clothes, hair, clothing. Once again, same kind of thing. Same concept. Have maybe made the jeans look more like jeans. And her head is really huge. Okay, this is another one. The same, same thing again.
Okay, this is just a bunch of writing and random character and random eyeball with bad eyebrows. This is when I was learning Korean first. I also was taking French in high school, so this all this is in French. Um, I can read some of it, but I'm just like, I don't know why I wrote that. So I'm trying to like get comfortable in this chair because I can't sit normally in chairs, so. Yeah, I was learning Korean here, so I just was just writing out a bunch of Korean. These are just notes from class. I write notes in my sketchbook. This is kind of the same thing again, drawing a model from the site, getting familiar with fabric and like wrinkles, poses, all of that. This too, this is more, very much more simplified. This is me just doing something random, cross hatching, this is supposed to be a witch and she's like looking into a mirror i think she's an oc but i'm actually not sure or maybe i was planning to make her one for whatever reason my art teacher loved this one like i, th I think it's okay but i don't know she really loved it so i was like okay i mean it's kind of flat here in the back though like it's not it's not rounded out like These are just random <laughs> characters of, you know, the popular girl and then the, you know, I guess photography girl or whatever. And there's her boyfriend. Yeah. Not finished. I'm going to like flush it out more, but you know, like I said, and this dress is probably inspired by like all that other previous stuff I was drawing from that clothing site and so I just felt co more comfortable doing more like flowy stuff. These were two <laughs> so I did these two because there are two classmates I cannot remember their names why do I feel like one guy's name was Ron and maybe he was one with the little flippy hair I don't know if you can see that like I don't know if you can see that, like he's the one with the little hair flipped. I think that was wrong. I think that's right. I don't know. It was just these two classmates, these two guys. It's so funny because they knew I could draw, but they were like, can you draw us fighting? I mean, this one, he's winning, this guy. And this was like our, um, I guess like the commons area, like when you first walk into the high school. And then on this side was the other guy winning. So as you can see, he has the guy with the flippy hair. He has him pinned now. So <laughs> then it's all the all the students cheering, watching the fight. So yeah, that was pretty funny. More Korean here. I'll just do it like this so I can get both pages in. So yeah, more Korean here. And here was me writing the lyrics of the song. And I was dating a guy at the time. I was like right after high school and I just like spelled his name out in letters. So I'm gonna skip that. Um, this is a this is a self-portrait here. Yeah, I mean, I definitely got the teeth down. But yeah, this is a self-portrait of me. This is me. This is when we were, I was in art class and yeah, this is when we were learning like portraits and how to draw like different like shapes. 
shaped faces. This is like heart, square, oval, and round. So we're kind of learning how to draw like the, um, you know, like the head thing, like we shape out the head and all that stuff and do the little guides, drawing eyeballs. Oh, here was me writing out right here. So yeah, I did actually write out all of my, the names of all of my OCs. There's a lot more than this, but um, these are all I could just remember. And this is my, is a self-portrait or a portrait of a friend of mine or a girl I knew, I guess. Um, another portrait or yeah someone okay so here's like when we're practicing eyes we had to practice eyes and I think I might actually go back and get back into this because yeah it's very valuable just to know how to draw different kinds of eyes different kinds of eyebrows those are eyes different noses and then different mouths here I'm going to get back into doing that. This is a portrait of my grandma. Um, again, just randomness. Here, this one is me when I was sitting in my French class. Just put a whole bunch of stuff out. <laughs> and drew this random character. Randomly was drawing my calculator for some reason. Probably didn't have any inspiration whatsoever. Oh, I like this one. Okay, yeah, this is a study of ears. But then I also decided to draw, like, like flesh out an actual character on the same page, which I really like. And her name is Asherai Minare. And, um... Definitely inspired because I was really into Final Fantasy, like the all the games and like Square Enix. I wanted to work for them, all of that stuff. So, um, but yeah, so this is that character I just created. I think I was playing ten at the time, Final Fantasy ten, and then this guy was gonna be like her brother. have like a full fleshed out story I was just really happy with like her outfit and all that stuff okay. yeah this was oh, you can see that yeah, okay this is my it's a portrait of my brother when he was like younger portrait of my cousin when she was younger. And this is a portrait of my other cousin. I didn't do too well on it, but that was because I was really into just portraits, like drawing people was my thing. Like I, like I know people is like hard to draw, but I love drawing people, which helped me get better at drawing like stuff like hands. Because, you know, most people draw the hands behind, like, in their pockets. But, like, I would draw the hands because I was all about drawing characters. Oh my god, this thing does not want to stay. was done with like um pastels those little like pastels that's what this was done so it looks yeah yikes i was so proud of it when i did it but looking but now looking at it i'm just like yikes but hey you had to start somewhere right this one the eyes look so silly i don't want the eyes but this is like a portrait of my mom 
and this character right here. She's not an OC, but um, I was literally just sitting there like in art class and these guys were talking about like a Venus flytrap and all of a sudden like just like that like a character came to mind and I just started like sketching her out and they were like they were like you do that like just sitting right here and I was like yeah and they were like I was like you guys are talking about Venus flytrap so that's what I came up with this character here they were just like so impressed and I was like I don't know I just draw guys you know I just draw this <laughs> yeah this is just a random page I threw a random thumb here a random chick eyes and mouths just I guess I was just practicing drawing mouths and teeth because you don't want the teeth to look like um, you know how it looks all weird and stuff like this doesn't look bad even though they're all like defined and this one has teeth in their eyes I don't know if you can see that and then I knew someone who knew, I believe it was Tagalog, is what they speak in the Philippines. And then so, so he wrote here, which I think he said meant I love you or something. And here I wrote I love you in Korean. Right here. This one, you can't see it all that well. It looks like, it looks funny, but. This is a portrait of my aunt. And these are just fig like figure drawings, I guess, what you would call it. So this is kind of what I, again, when I was introduced to starting off your drawings like this and then fleshing it out. Because I wouldn't draw, like I would just, if I saw like this pose, I would just literally just try to draw the pose instead of like mapping it out, like where everything would go and would be at. I really, again, like appreciate this whole thing here, like doing all this stuff. And here's more. This one's cross-legged, and you know, this one's bending over. Yeah, you can see that it's bending. I reference photos from my sweet 16. That was also a friend I was drawing. or something eating like shrimp cocktail <laughs> this was when I was in art for AP and I'm um, high school and this was like something um, someone wrote about my what was it because you have to do a breath and then there's your concentration and your concentration and it's 12 photos of a surround 12 photos about a single topic or like single subject and then your breath is like um just artwork that you've done and it kind of like builds up to like where you are now i guess if i have that correct if anybody knows can like clarify or like correct me on that um so i kept that in there because that was really nice um this one was oh uh, this Boa Boa Kwan. I was she was like my first K-pop artist I ever listened to. And it looks better like this. So, yeah. So I was proud of this one. Like I said, I would just love to. I always love to just draw like to challenge myself and then draw like 
portraits, like real life portraits. This is just, okay, yeah. So this is here to, like these papers, I think we're here to protect these because they would rub off on the pages. That's why I have just random pages in here. This is from, I don't know, about testing. This is another one I was gonna do, as you can see, obviously it's not finished. It was another one of those ones like before with the character with the lynx ears. So this one is, a, um, I think a snow fox. So I take a picture of a person and then like, here's the ears and then I did like the, it's a snow fox. I, if I did a snow fox, I can't remember. Um, it's really like kind of dark around their eyes and so that's why I did that for this this character here. I think the hair was like really kind of complicated and I got hung up on the hair so I just kind of stopped there because when I get hung up I get I stop so I could always go back and do it but This was a, um, and this was my first, this was like an outline I drew first traditionally and then I uploaded it into Photoshop and I think this was like my very first digital art picture that I did which you can definitely see on my Instagram, you probably have to scroll like really far down <laughs> to find it but, or I could just like insert the image of it. But, um, and here was a sketch of, it's called triptych, so you have like three pictures that kind of, you put them together and it makes one image. I was attempting to like draw a different like body type here. Just more random like writing and random just drawings this one as well that's supposed to be like some suspicious dinner I think this I had to do a um why I did that. That was like the kind of like the logo for my high school. Like a lance because it's the knights was our logo actually. Or our mascot I mean. And it was like an S. But then I just wrote a bunch of like Korean words around it just again because I was learning Korean so. This was for a I was taking I was taking a Photoshop class actually. Like learning how to act, like how you, the actual intended use of Photoshop, I guess, like photo editing and all of that. So I had been using it prior to that class, just, you know, doing art in there. But anyways, this was like me sketching out, you had to design like a magazine cover, so this was just me sketching out an idea out. I don't know why this page is in here though, honestly, but we will leave it. Here was a, this is me doing thumbnails for, because we're experimenting with three different kinds. It was Prisma, Color Resist, Oil Painting, and then Tempera Batik. And I chose to do Geisha as my subject. This was going to be done in Prismacolor Resist, Tempera Batik, and then this one was done with oil painting, which I do still have these pictures. They're somewhere, but I still have them. I love the oil painting one though, it was really nice. That was just random. More random people and heads. We see here another random head I was doing. It wasn't bad. I mean, it never lined anything up. So this 
was this was Utada Hikaru. I was like huge into her because I was also into like Kingdom Hearts and anime and all that. So I definitely was really listening to her music. I still do. This was me mapping out ideas. There were just a bunch of lemon heads that I drew. So I really love lemon heads. Empty the mailboxes. This is here, okay, so here is like Chinese, I was probably taking, well, okay, well this sketchbook is from high school, but I go back and I reuse some of the pages, so this is from, it's like when I was taking Mandarin, but that was when I first started college when I was doing that. Chinese in my high school, we only had Spanish and French. These were just lyrics from a Nicki Minaj song. This was a character, actually, this was an OC of my, I guess, the guy I dated in high school. And he wanted me to draw his character, and these are like, you know, the descriptions, I guess. So, yeah, so that's his OC. This, like, I think up to here, up to, I think, like, up to here was, like, I drew it from a reference or something, and then the rest, I just, I just improvised with the whole rest of her body. Her outfit makes no sense, but I did like to play around with, like, fashion and just weird stuff. These were, like, songs and artists, like, musical artist that and I was just drawing that out so two door cinema club 21 that's not anything David Cook um, this is Starfucker oh okay hold on oh, let me get to that one um, these are just random High school kids or something. Snail on a wall. Not proportionate at all, but still cute, I guess. Now this is um, love this character. So this is one of my OCs. This is Julius, and then in here I wrote brother of Caesar. So it's funny because Julius Caesar, but instead it's two characters. One is Julius, one is Caesar. Um, the oldest one is Caesar though, but anyway. And they're like mer, they're like mermen or they're like mer people from a, you know, a clan or whatever. And then I don't have the full story fleshed out, but like obviously there's gonna be like obviously drama between like, like the people on land and then people in the sea, you know, kind of thing. So, I don't know, I'm still developing that, but this is just supposed to be him underwater, and here's the bubbles. And it's, I still only have, like, the character design fleshed out, like, I don't know if I want them to have... I guess it's kind of like seaweed, I guess, here that he's wearing. You can see it. It's not, like, for the designs, I don't know if I just want to keep it like that, or just like they're just nude or whatever because I mean they're in the water so so I don't know we'll, we'll see looking at it makes me want to go back to it here we just have random random items I was like very bored like I was on a, a cruise ship uh, I was on a cruise ship with my friend like after it was like for high school graduation and it was like really late and I was just like really tired and just like it's my brain I was just drawing a bunch of crap oh this is from regular show that song you know so I wrote the lyrics to that song I can't believe it was wow it really was out like not that long after high school that's crazy I actually think it came out while we were in high school right? 
I forget how old stuff is sometimes. This character I really like too. It's like 80s rock kind of thing. I've never really drawn anything like 80s. The pants are supposed to be um, uh, cheetah print. Yeah, this character's kind of cool. And I don't know if you can see it. With the, they have like the big hair. He has like the big hair. And the rock stars that have like big hair and all that good stuff. Crazy guitar that he that's probably not really playable. <laughs> I like how I did like the lettering to rock. And kids crying on the back of that page. This is just about job stuff. This is when I was going to SCAD or Savannah College of Art and Design and yeah, I was just stuff for that to look for for companies. I was going for game um, designer or developer at the time. This is, so just a lot of randomness, a lot of mess. Um, but this is one of my OCs. Um, his name is just Pro Mega Cyboid D, or Cyboid, that's how you would pronounce that. So he's a cyborg, and what was it? Yeah, I said he's half cyborg, half android. So this is like everything about the character. And I'm still working on like the design too of that, like the outfit and all that. Kind of stuff. Right. So I'm still gonna work on this one because I do like like this one. This is just randomness. This is from Dead Space. I was just doing funny stuff. I was watching Dead Space like gameplay or something, and that's what I was doing. There's that character again. This one. I was just I was gonna draw him in like a military outfit. Like attire that he usually wear and like maybe on a tank or something but obviously I just got the head down because I have a habit of not finishing art this is randomness like character with their mouth sewn and you can see like that's like the stitching I guess like their mouth is sewn and their eyes are sewn as well yeah Here, I was just kind of playing as you can see like with perspective it's kind of hard to see it but like someone kind of leaning forward like pointing uh, this one I cut out I'm not sure why I did that yeah this is from if you've ever seen Shin Chan like this is where this bunny right here is from and it says, I'm a mother bleeping bunny. <laughs> it's so funny. And then this is the last one right here. I did think this character was kind of cool. I think I saw like a picture, like a reference or like a picture similar to that on like someone on a pill and they have like a giant syringe or something. And I was like, I totally want to like play on that. And so I just kind of did my own character. I did want to like, now looking at it, maybe flesh it out. I am proud of the syringe though. Of course that I use a reference to do. But yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is just a bag. That's just again most more writing. So okay that that was fun. So definitely see like some stuff I want to redraw. And also just it inspired me to draw. Because I have not drawn yet today. So um it's already like late kind of, I think. I'm not sure what time it is. But yeah, so I'm gonna just draw. I'm glad I got a video out. Um it's I did have like a month, like I just didn't I wasn't uploading anything for like two weeks. So I'm gonna try and get back and be consistent with that. So so sorry for leaving you guys hanging. Um leaving myself hanging actually, like because I actually really enjoy doing this. I just my mind has just been like I've been having like brain fog and all this stuff <clears throat> and just feeling like unmotivated so I'm going to unpotato myself and get back into drawing up back into uploading and just 
you know just get back on getting myself together so yeah guys that's all i have for you for this video um let me know what you think in the comments section is there something you want me to redraw or a uh, picture you want me to like elaborate on um anything like that i'm open to it don't forget to help and subscribe to my channel it helps my small little channel or don't it's up to you you don't have to subscribe just if you feel like it i greatly appreciate it so um see you guys in my next video i'm gonna now draw so